Hello there, watchy people. How's it going? Welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, where we are on the continued journey of a drill... What is this? Construction rig, sorry. So this isn't even a drill. Yeah, con construction rig semi-trailer. It looks like it's like a workshop or something. It kind of does. Well, I know, because there's no doors on it. I don't think it holds people. Um, oh, I seem to be off the ground again. Oh, no, there we go. It's gone sideways more than I wanted it to, but that's all right. It's okay. Anyway, whatever this thing is, we're taking it down, uh, down there. This is the logging camp, right? This is the logging camp, good sir. Okay. Just watch out for this yellow tree. Ah, oh, watch out for that tree. Okay. So, drilling site is marked left, but that's because. I mean, if you look at the map, do you really want to take that trailer down that road? Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's that one that um, that hooks around a little cavern, doesn't it? Not a cavern, but a Yeah, valley. there's a there's like a smashed up car where there used to be an upgrade yes. down there, if you remember. That's right, yeah. I got a, not only is it it's steep and kind of twisty, so I think if you, yeah, yeah. That, if that trailer went down there, I don't think it'd come out. I not to mention, I think there's a couple of like rocks but you, you have to squeeze between as well, and I think that trailer's too wide. Yeah. Yeah, I got a smaller thing than this stuck down there before, so. Let's not even try. Oh, flipping heck. Right, mate. Bested by a tree again. Uh, backing towards. So, reverse. There we go. Let's go round the tree. If we can. It's gonna jam the trailer now, isn't it? Did we finish timber for the locals? We did finish timber for the locals, yes. And the trees have still got a bit of bravery to them. I reckon we need to do another logging job. Oh, blimey. Put the scarers up them. Yeah. Given that quite a lot of the maps have got logging camps, there's going to be a lot of logging jobs to do. Yeah, it makes sense. <coughs> corner if we can. Yep, just missed the tree. Come on. <laughs> just missed the tree. Rolls it flat. Yeah. One. Grip. Okay, he is there. Mate, say what you want about that early game truck. It's an absolute trooper. Yeah, the fact that I've been driving it for so long, doing basically every job with it, it's, it's testament to something. Six-wheel drive and some aggressive tyres, and that thing is a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I like it a lot. I get the feeling this thing's going to stay with me to the end of the game. Have you ever done that in a game before? Like, where you get something, like, basically in the opening of a game and then you feel compelled to keep it all the way till end game. Oh, pretty much every game I play. Yeah. I remember in uh, the Metro, in, I think it was the first, Me yeah, it was the first Metro game, uh, right. when you, you meet, like, a, a father figure type character, like somebody who you admire. Yeah. And, like, he gives you a service revolver. Hmm. Uh, it's kind of like ceremonious in a way. Yeah. Ooh, am I going to roll this trailer if I pull this? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, and I, f I felt compelled to keep that as a sidearm throughout the entire game. Like I never <laughs> like massively modified it, and I never got rid of it. Yeah. But I basically had this one pistol from the start of the game all the way to the the very finale. That's cool. It became uh, sentimental. Yeah, yeah, there's like Ooh. a bit of, like it, it, was, it was given to you in like a sentimental context and yeah. I like IRL had a bit of sem sentimentality about it. No, for me it's mostly through laziness. <laughs> uh, I just yeah. like, oh, I got this, I'll just use it. Because as I've said on many occasions, I don't like games where I have to put thought in. So, you know, I got a gun, it goes bang, then I'll use it. You are an enigma to me, sir. Mm-hmm. Just endlessly fascinating. Yeah. Oof. 
I don't know why. I, I always make these noises as if I'm exerting effort to do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not the truck, it's me. Immersion, mate. That's immersion. That, yeah. that just shows you're really into it. You're feeling it. Ooh, this... Uh, I, I watched it sink then. <laughs> squishy, squishy. Very squishy. I'm not looking at the map at all, so I'm just going to assume that you're leading me the right way. Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on navigation. Mate. We're basically we've got we go basically we're just running straight uh, straight uh, south now to cool. the uh, to the drilling site. Lovely. The road is appears to be kind of this quality all the way, and it's it doesn't I wouldn't say it gets windy, but it you know it twists about a bit. But yeah. That's I good. think. Uh, I think what was it last episode? I think I said I was like eighty percent confident we'd be making the delivery this episode, and I'm I'm yeah. getting more confident as each minute passes, mate. Cool. Okay. I'm not concerned at all. <laughs> Don't you worry, dear viewer. You'll have your construction rig semi-trailer. Oh, I assume the viewers are hanging out at the drilling site. I've been stopped by a twig. A twig. Yeah. I think you uh, might be a little bit beached actually. It looks oh, like your feet are know. touching the ground. Oh yeah, so slipping feet again. No. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. You do have a little bit of movement to you still. Now you've got more! Ta da! Excellent. Again, you, you'd sort of assume that they allow those feet to go up a lot more as well. I don't think it'd matter because they don't look. They do not appear to uh, be particularly like if they weren't there, you just get bombed out on the chassis instead. Yeah, that's true. Like I think removing those wouldn't make a well, huge a good difference. Six inches there. Yeah. I think I'd, I'd make the effort to be honest, and certainly on terrain like this. Six inches makes all the difference, as, uh, as she said. As it say, yeah, uh, yeah, you're on the, you're skirting the edge of like naughty jokes, mm -hmm. of being, of being crude. I do appreciate the occasional good. That's what she said, but it's easy to overdo it. Oh yeah, I just do it on every available opportunity. No, I know. I, I had a, I had a friend, American friend, who uh, was, I don't know, let's say, had a bit of a, a young sense of humour for his age. Yeah. And yeah, he, he's one of those who will, who will very enthusiastically say that at every opportunity. Yeah. Even sometimes when it doesn't make sense, and it's like you're very boring. But well, this could be funny, but you've made it boring. Thanks. Yeah, Mate, not... you're a proper beach there. I am. Mate, you ain't gonna winch off that. Alright, I wouldn't. Have you winched off me? Yep. Nice. A bit worried about pulling you too far left too soon. Actually, it may not be an issue because there's nothing there but yeah, grass. Yeah, there's not a lot there. This, oh, wow, you this are. This feels like proper in the ground. Oof. I'm actually gonna winch off the trailer, I think. Yeah, okay. Can I go... Actually, if I um, if I say what, I might winch off the back of it and see if I can actually pull the back over. Uh, I can't see a winch point on the back, so we'll go with the side. Ooh, yeah, he slid forward a bit. I'm also very low on fuel. Ah. Ooh. I can, uh, I'll amend that in a, after we get out of this predicament. Hey, there it goes. Right, that's clear now. All right, let me uh, slap a bit of fuel in you. Thank you, sir. Lovely. Still got just shy of 700 litres left. <laughs> Much appreciated. 700 litres, man. Take it steady then. I think we got more than enough. What's on that trailer? It's not anything we need, is it? It's uh, a construction rig semi-trailer. Oh, is it? Nah, I'm joking. I'm goofing. Right. Like, imagine if the thing we needed to deliver was this close. Yeah. All this time. Yeah, they've got to serve a spare parts to me, mate. Come 
um, camera sorted out. Oh. Just watch that balcony on that telegraph pole. Yeah. Did I say that like literally a minute too late? Yeah. There it is. Would you live here, Rob? Um, I mean, the house is a bit of a fixer-upper, but... It is a bit. With the right kind of vehicles. Wise. Yeah. Right, if I had the right kind of vehicles and I could work from home and I had high-speed internet so I could play my video games. Oh, man. In a heartbeat, mate. Absolutely no second thoughts. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need more tugging. Uh, Let's go. Lovely. Thank you. She's away. Okay, another tight turn. got a bit of a ditch on the left hand side of the road okay oh yeah I see um, if you just kind of hang your left wheel over the top of the ditch you should get plenty of clearance on that telegraph pole yeah. in fact yeah it's fine I'm not worried about we're not worried about that at all sweet and then I've got to go around that side tell you what mate it'd be great if I was looking where I was going <laughs> I'm busy looking at you again I understand. Have you seen what's Josh. at the bottom of this hill, mate? No. I don't want to. Is it the drilling site? It is indeed, mate. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, that was um, a big old tilt. I don't know quite why. Are we in the ground again? I think we might be. That's all right. There's a tree there. Thank you kindly, Mr. Tree. Or Mrs. Tree. Don't want to assume. Ah, uh, mate, all trees are boys. Oh, okay. I could very easily go down a uh, another uh, immature joke route there. I respect you for your restraint. in the comments if you know what it was. Oof. You like how I rose above it and then in actively encouraged it in our audience. Yeah. You're just going to drag them all down into the gutter with you, aren't you, mate? Definitely. I need company. It's <laughs> lonely down here. <laughs> Everyone's grown up and left me behind. Yeah. They're all making jokes about politics and economics. <laughs> and I'm still here hoping someone will pull my finger. Oh, you've got to love to go pull my finger, though. Oh, you poor soul. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, well, there's a truck over there. There's a truck? There's a truck to your left, behind you. Oh, yeah. What's that doing there? Uh, I left it there. Oh, OK. Because it's basically useless. It, w it was um, <laughs> one of those oh, occasions... Why you leave me there? <laughs> no, why you leave me places all the time? <laughs> it was one of those occasions where... In fact, the occasion where I think there were about four or five trucks all turned on their sides and like I was, when we rolled both bandits yeah and I, I I was trying to as that one was like one of the only trucks left upright I thought I'll try and get that down there and uh, it couldn't make it even slightly because it's obviously a road truck oh, I'm in the ground again uh, I did wonder if that little gravel pile was going to be an issue yeah it was 
as it turns out, it was an issue. Okay. One. There it goes. Wow. Literally a tree broken in the ground got me out of that. Put that down to a little bit of funky physics, maybe? Yeah, definitely. That, that should not have been able to do that. You don't know how long that branch is. It might be six miles long. I think I was able to see both ends. Yeah, we just snap then. Could be T-shaped. Could be. That's true. Just as the sun is setting. Yeah, perfect timing, actually. Heroes of the day arrive. Don't roll it now. <laughs> Don't roll it on top of that caravan. The truck won't turn right. There we go, now it does. Okay, we are good. Caught the edge of that cable reel. You thought we weren't going to make it this episode. We've got half an episode left. Ta-da! Look at this. Stage completed. Look at it. It's majestic. Amazing. Right. It's a platform. Two lots of metal beams now. That's, that's decent. We can manage that between us. Um, do you want to get half each? Or do you want to get um, a big trailer with both and one accompaniment? Uh, yeah, I think if you grab the two metal beams. Oh, no, hang on a minute, because two metal, metal beams take two slots each, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, so you're going to need a trailer. Yep. Yeah, you grab both metal beams. All right. And I'll grab a trailer and I'll grab the drill. Cool. Uh, I've got to get back to the back garage then. The back garage? <laughs> Back to the garage. Uh, yeah. Am I, am I going the right way? Yeah. I am. Uh, yes and no. I just turned right at your next truck. Yeah, that's what I We'll take that. The coastal road. It's not really a coastal road because it's not along. Is it along the coast? It meets the coast for a very brief moment. Um, the, the rivers have coasts. Oh, that's a good point, actually. No, it wouldn't be a coastal road. What's You're the name right. of that? What's the name of a coastal road that goes along a river? Waterside. Uh, waterside Road. Yeah. It's like a, there's like a term that's like right there, right in the back of my mind that refuses to come out. Oh, I tell you what, I haven't just said that as well. I've just, I just remembered for the for a fleeting moment, I remembered that term I was trying to remember earlier for like the Fallout style. Oh, oh, that's annoying. Art design, and it, it just just before I could grab a hold of it, it left my mind again. <laughs> I think you mean Art Deco. No, I don't. Oh, more more engine damage. That's fun. Yeah, this is the spot <laughs> of which we don't talk. I think it's this one anyway. Yeah, just here, actually. This is it. I don't want to ever think about that place again. Uh, I can avoid this it. This is I never want to think about. Is about 50 metres to the right. <laughs> yeah. I do remember chasing up and down this road quite a lot, trying to get to the water to attach a winch. Beautiful. More engine damage, lovely. Oh, we just hit a rock. Bounced about a metre to the right. Scared <laughs> myself. How much more carefree do you feel without that trailer on the back of you? Oh, it's great. It's like a new truck. Without the weight of the world on your shoulders. Exactly. Without the weight of a construction equipment on your trailer. <laughs> I'd really like to know what's supposed to be in there. In where? That trailer. Answers on a postcard. Do you work in the oil field field <laughs> oh 
Well, the name construction suggests that it's oh some, dear some form of equipment for assembling. Don't look behind you. No, oh, I'm gonna look now. You're not Don't there. Look behind you. Oh wow. Don't look behind you. Would you like some assistance? Oh, I'm not behind you. Oh Rob. my. Yeah, I'm Rob. Um, End, not. Rob, end the episode a minute ago, please. <laughs> Edit this out. Oh man. Uh, that's not a good place. I right. did this on purpose, by the way. Yeah, I did this, this on purpose to give the viewers something interesting to look at rather than just driving across a, 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 a muddy road. Absolutely. Give it some clout. Clout. She's up. Oh my word. She's found a tree. Boing. Oh, thank you, friend. Look in front of me now. Yeah, you know when about. like some, you know when oh. something goes a little bit wrong, and you yeah. go, if I just keep driving forwards <laughs> with a bit of correction, I can make it right. And yeah. you've you fully throughout this entire process, you're fully aware that the correct thing to do is stop and reverse a little bit, just like a tiny little bit. Yeah. And then do it again correctly. Yeah. But for some reason, you feel compelled to no no no. Just I'm going to keep on. going. I'm going to press on. I'm going to keep going forward. I can save it. I can save it. I can save it. I can save it. <laughs> and then it's and then it's Rob come help. Ooh. And there's egg on your face, and all yeah. the viewers are pointing and they're laughing. <laughs> Gosh, that is not laughing with you. They're laughing tiny. at you, Tango. Oh yeah, always at you. Everyone knows. Everyone knows you're an imposter. <laughs> Everyone knows you've never played a video game before, or driven a truck. The only two things that define you are both a lie. <laughs> I think this time I'm going to go with the flatbed rather than the sideboard. Do it. Yeah. I will do it, you know. Gosh darn it, I'm going to do it. He can't be stopped. There's, um, just for a moment there, these street lights reminded me of some that are in my local area. Where, oh, yeah. um. You're doxing yourself. Doxing? Yeah. How so? Well, the viewers are going to now do some research into street I'll lights. Figure out what street you live on. Yeah. Um. But they're, they're LEDs, and the way the, the light kind of pulls below when when you're in a car and you see it in your rear view one of your rear views you know where you, your your vision is occluded somewhat yeah um it appears like another vehicle's headlights behind you oh or, you know, the yeah, effect yeah, yeah. of the vehicle's headlights behind you and so you think that there's somebody else around and there's nobody else around it's just a street light yeah that spooky i'm being followed feeling exactly i feel like it's um it's a, a design flaw. Uh, Probably not really a flaw, just like an oversight. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, it's a okay. complete disregard for your feeling of safety. Well, I guess you could argue that it's better that you show concern as if there is a vehicle around rather than just go on thinking you're carefree. Right, um, shall I use that trailer on the road, or shall I get a new one? I think the one on the road. Uh, trailer on the road? Should do it. Yeah, just outside the garage. Past it on the way in. I don't think it matters, as long as it's got four slots. Uh, I will have a look at it. It looked the right size, hence why I mentioned it at all. However, I want to be sure about that. Oh, the one that we passed? Yeah. That's a scout flatbed, mate, oh, and it's, it's absolutely not the right size. That that only holds one slot. You need one that holds four. Okay. All right, I'll come back to one then. <laughs> and then I've got to figure out where to pick it up. You want to drive forward? Drive forward. 
loads of them. Beautiful. Okay, trailer store. I want uh, log trailer. That sounds perfect. Uh, flatbed semi trailer. No. Water carrier trailer. No. 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 That would work. Uh, have we not got one? That would work. Those are my options. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to buy one. Fair enough. That's right, mate. I thought we had one, but never mind. I mean, there will be one out on the road somewhere. Um, where can I get these from? Do we have to go back to Black River? Yeah, I think we do. Sound like all the way, though, mate. Oh, no. There's, there's Drummond Island, but to be honest, from where we are... Uh, there's one by the gateway to Drummond Island, sorry, the warehouse. But where, from where we are, I think it's going to be easier to go to Black River. Significantly so. Yeah, you need to go to the warehouse in town, don't you? Yeah, yeah, get it from town supplies. Let's do it. Actually, I've, I've a fa a feeling that there is one of these trailers right there. So I probably didn't need to buy one. I think we you left. You can always uh, sell it again, can't you? Yeah. You get the same money back in this mode, don't you? I believe so. Well, you, uh, not, well, you get some money, because in hard mode, I don't think you can sell trailers at all. Oh, right. You can take them back to the trailer store, and it doesn't give you the option to sell. I think it just destroys the trailer. Blimey, that's a bit... It takes your trailer and doesn't pay. That's crazy. Absolute robbery, mate. Talk to the hey, like robbery. Like that. Okay. What if it's dark? No. Moonlight robbery. Nightlight robbery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I've just come up with the premise of a kids' film. Yeah. Nightlight robbery. I like it. Ah, oh, that music. You've achieved something coming here, sir. Down, down, down. Great. Oh. Um, don't ask where the tunnel is, because I've just... Oh, where's the tunnel? I've sent the sign that was pointing at it flying. <laughs> <laughs> All the locals are going to be lost. They are. They won't know. They'll be stood right next to the tunnel, <laughs> going, where the heck's the tunnel gone? I miss this map. This map was nice. Simple. I mean, it is now that we've built bridges everywhere. Yeah. And we've got good trucks. I wish you could improve, like, all of the crossings. Like, there's still that really nasty river crossing. That's up the top of this, this map. Oh, yeah. We don't really need to use it for anything. I think there's that factory up there. Yeah. You kind of just drive the long way around and it's mostly tarmac. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? You don't really need to worry about anything. Right. I think we are going to be collecting these supplies and then uh, starting again in the next one. Because we are all out of time. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, it is only a short run. Depends, we could do a long episode, but no, I think probably we'll stop. To be I think fair, next episode we'll be making this delivery probably, and then pontificating about what to do next. Yeah, make, making more decisions. I don't think this is going to take us too long, you know, to run these last remaining things down. No, I don't think it will either. Right, cargo management. We are going to load. You know what? I'm just going to load it on the truck. Uh, and the trailer load. Right. It, was that a suggestion that we do just press on, or was that a suggestion that next time it will not take very long? I think we should rendezvous at the garage, uh, and then the hashtag garage. next time. Okay, the garage is back that way. you got to go past the garage anyway, haven't you? Well, there's a garage on, um, on the dam, Smithfield Dam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. That's where you gotta go. I'll meet you there. Sure. Alright then. Uh, yes, 
so I'm going that way. That's good. Cool. Right. Yeah, you confused me because we won't. Yeah, it's, it's slightly off the direction we're going, but it's only my, a tiny little. You're in town, aren't you? I'm in town. Yeah, I'm now coming out of town. You're gonna go through the tunnel. Yeah. Past the garage. No, down to the drilling site. I wouldn't wouldn't go past the garage to the drilling site. I'd go turn right before the garage. What? The garage is a. Around to the left when you go through the tunnel. And I would to the go... right, mate, up the hill. Yeah, up the hill. There's no garage up there, is there? Mate, you, you just you, you just bought a trailer there. Oh, sorry, when you're saying garage, my brain is thinking fuel station. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm right. saying garage is in the workshop garage place where the trucks live. Got it, yeah. Right, fine. Man, massive miscommunication there, or lack of whatever. Lack of understanding on your part, yeah, if, I, yeah. if I may. Brain fart. Proper old brain fart, that was. Anyway, yes, I will get there very shortly. Uh, I'll be here, ready and waiting. I'll put the kettle on, mate. Don't you worry. To be honest, I, got an, I kind of assumed you were behind me, but you weren't. <laughs> Why would I be behind you? I don't know. I don't need metal beams. <laughs> All right. Fine. You get the metal beams, I'll get the drill. That's what we agreed. Ah, but we're not delivering the drill yet, are we? May as well, mate. Ah, just bring it with you. All right, fair enough. Um, yes, I do. Actually, it's used less fuel than I thought it would to do this little trip. So that's okay. We will have plenty of fuel to finish the journey. Because with now that I'm loaded, I can't go into the garage to refuel. Can't you? No, I think what you lose your cargo when you go in. Oh, beans. Just bring a fuel vehicle out. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I have turned right. I hate that it turns your truck lights off every time as well. You complain about that every time you go through that tunnel. Well, it, it never stops being an issue. Every time we transition maps, Rob has a little whinge about having to start his engine and turn his lights on. Shut up, Mr. Camera Clipping. Mate, I will always complain about camera clipping, right? <laughs> I want the camera to clip through a building that I'm about to. Just it's it's just well allow me my passions. You can have that one, and I'll be allowed to complain about the lights going. I'm not saying you're not allowed. I'm just mocking you for it. Uh, right, I'm coming around the corner. Pointing now. at you and saying that's a thing that you do a lot. It is. Shaming you. I'm stating a fact. Uh, here he is. Here he is. Yeah. I'm oh, mate, look at those metal beams. So shiny, one, so smooth. And look at that drill. Look at the pace on him. Amazing. Um, you're going to have to disconnect from that, aren't you? Because otherwise it will disappear. Yeah, I ain't worried. Cool. Right, well, there we go. That's where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching, people. Uh, appreciate you as always. Please uh, check out Drucker Tango on Twitch. And That's me on me. Twitch. I am also uh, streaming on Twitch every now and then as well now. Twitch, so YouTube, we're everywhere, mate. I'm streaming on both platforms. Whoa. Yeah, how about that? So, yeah, link's in the description anyway, and uh, link to Trucker Tango will be on the end screen. So oh, yeah. Please, uh, please go click them. And, and watch my stuff. We will see you guys next time.